Hey guys, EDP Man here, and in today's video, we're gonna take a look at the Swiss Army knife of projectors. We're taking a look at the Mosic Go, and this is from Elite Screens, and you could use it outdoors, you can supersize it, and you can even use it indoors. It also supports gaming too. So let's get right to it. Now in today's video, we're taking a look at an Elite Screen all-inclusive package that includes a projector, a screen, and a tripod, giving you everything that you need to have the best movie experience. Now this is not just suited for the outdoors, as you can see here. It's also suited for your backyard, your tailgating experiences, or in your home, because this projector will work in a variety of settings. It not only is portable, but it also has a built-in battery that's gonna allow you to run this projector on its own without having any power nearby. It also has built-in speakers that will allow you to use this, if you like, as a speaker system, if you just want to listen to music, and it can also charge all your smart gadgets. Now, in our review, we're taking a look at the Mosic Go Sport, and it includes a couple items. First of all, you have a 58-inch Yardmaster 2 screen, which is incredibly portable, and you can see how easy this thing is to take apart and put together, under two to three minutes. Uh, it also comes with a projector, as you can see here, a tripod stand that allows you to mount it and keep it off the ground if that's something that you'd like to do, and it comes with two travel bags that make it really easy to stow everything and take it wherever you'd like to go. Now, the projector itself has an 1,500 LED uh, lamp rating. So it's going to be bright enough for dark areas and with some, I would say, some dusk settings. And you're going to see that in a couple seconds. The native resolution is 1920 by 1080. The contrast ratio is 20,000 to 1. And it's using DLP technology. Now, the lamp itself is rated 25,000 hours. So this is going to last you a pretty long time. It also has a battery, built-in battery, and this is only specifically for the Mosic Go Sport of 37,200 hours. So that's gonna give you not only enough time to watch a movie or, or two, but it also is gonna be enough to charge any kind of electric devices that you have. So if you, let's think about like your smartphones, your tablets, if you'd like to charge it using this, you can do it. And by the way, you can use this projector, as I mentioned, as a speaker only. So if you don't wanna project anything, you just wanna to listen to tunes, you can do that too. Now, for those of you who are curious about the screen size and how large you can get a screen, we're talking about starting at 58 inches, it's the smallest, all the way up to 80 inches, but I pushed it even further. As you can see here by my examples, I first had it in the 58 inch mode, I'm really projecting on this small screen in my backyard, and you can see how it looks like in daylight and as it's starting to get dark, and how the image just looks better as it gets dark. But then I also used Elite Screen's outdoor screen, and this is a 135 inch screen, and I used the rear projection mode in this projector and you can see that it did relatively well it was it came out really really well so you can see the image quality here and how it's working in rear projection mode and it got really large I also took this indoor now indoor I had a 120 inch ALR screen so this is a floor rising screen that does a really nice job of rejecting ambient light around it and that's going to also help this projector really project well and you can see here that it did extremely well in this setting as well so this is really as I said the Swiss army knife of projectors because you could use it on the go in a camping setting you could use it in your backyard you could go from 58 inches all the way up to 80 but in my opinion, I pushed it beyond it and it performed really well. Now from a gaming perspective, the projector performed relatively well at 17 milliseconds, but I would not consider this a projector or a gaming projector for someone who's really into first person shooting. Uh, a game like this, like Asphalt, it did relatively well. I had no complaints and I didn't really notice any kind of latency. Now the projector includes an HDMI, USB-C, and a remote that you'll be able to use to configure and just adjust any of the settings. Uh, the projector itself, as you can see it here, is relatively small. It has a touch control panel here. This is what you're gonna use to adjust the focus. It does have keystone correction, which is really nice. And again, this is um, a short throw projector. So this is uh, where the image is gonna be coming this way and then it reflects on the surface that you're gonna be projecting. On the side here, if we flip this over, you'll find that there are several things here. Uh, you have HDMI ports, and you'll notice how um, they're covered, right? So this is going to give you the ability uh, to really protect them in the event that there's any kind of, I would say, mist or drizzle or light rain, because it is IPX uh, rated. So here you have your two HDMI, USB-C, the main power switch here that powers up the unit. And then in the front, if we flip this around, you have your two controls here. Uh, you have your control for uh, powering up the speaker as well as powering up the screen. Now, the remote is a line of sight remote, uh, works well, just like any other remote where you can increase the volume, decrease the volume, and also change your input settings. Now, if we flip the projector over, you'll see that you have here a little mounting screw, or mounting screw that you can use to uh, really mount this on that tripod that we saw. And you also have some adjustment feet here that allow you to adjust it if you have on a flat surface like you saw when I had it indoor uh, mounted or 
in my indoor setting where I was using that floor rising screen. So I just had it on the floor and I just adjusted these legs to get the right pitch that I wanted. So uh, if we take a look at the back here, there's really nothing there. The projector is pretty simple, right? So there's, you have the controls that we saw on this side. And if we flip it over on this side, we'll take a look and see what we have right here. You'll notice that you have uh, USB ports for charging, right? And also USB-C. So, and you have your a little SD. So this is gonna give you the ability uh, in this micro SD to also, uh, I would say project and play content coming from your storage devices. Now putting together the screen is incredibly easy. It almost assembles itself. All you have to do is start opening it up and you can see how everything locks into place. And then putting the screen, it's just like snapping the buttons in place and just tightening the screen as you go along. Now the Mosic Go is an incredible flexible solution that allows you to watch content in a variety of settings and with a variety of sizes. If you're interested in looking at more projection solutions, larger formatted screens or projectors, make sure you check out these playlists because we have a lot of options for those of you who are looking to have a better music and movie experience at home.